welcome back to Monday. I, sorry, I'm looking for the towel. Um, I'm getting ready to make some homemade spaghetti sauce. I'm gonna let it simmer in the crock pot all day. So I wanna get it done today and I'm being super lazy and I found a crock pot liner and I'm using that. So I don't have to scrub the crock pot later. I still have some left from, gosh, when did I buy those? I don't even know, forever ago. And I'm glad I have one for today. So I'm gonna go ahead and share with you the recipe. I really just looked up easy spaghetti sauce. And this is from Taste Better From Scratch. It's just called Homemade Spaghetti Sauce. If I forget to link it, there you go. I will try to remember. I'm gonna actually double it though. So um, here we go. I'm gonna get it going so it can simmer all day. Later, I'm gonna make some meatballs or just cook up some ground beef. I haven't decided yet. I have meatballs on the menu. The kids prefer meatballs. I prefer meatballs. But we'll see if we get to it because we have school today. We are back on school. We were on break last week. So we're trying to get school done and I need to run to Walmart and get a grocery order in a little bit. I never made it to the store this weekend and like I had planned to. So I had to get in a grocery order for today. So I'll share that with you. It is not very big. I try to stay very minimal. So um, I'll share that with you in a little bit, but I want to get this going so Everly and I can work on some school. Wilder is already done. Well, he's not done done, but he's done with his language arts and math. And we're working on hers now and then she's doing her handwriting. I'm gonna do this and then we're gonna go in and do her stuff and then we'll do our combined subjects. So that's what we're doing. So just slice up an onion. That's going in here. And it would be one cup of water. It's actually supposed to be one onion, so I should have cut up two because um, I'm doubling. I need to get another cup of water. All right, a can of tomato sauce, a 15 ounce can. So I'm gonna put two. is not in the recipe, but I'm going to add it. It's this um, basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes from Aldi. Six ounces of tomato paste. Um, I actually have freeze-dried tomato paste, so I'm going to just add it in here and then add a little bit of extra water, and that's how I'm going to do it. So you would need two cans, well, one can if you're doing one, and then two cans if you're doing two. There's the water for that. Half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. One tablespoon of dried parsley flakes. A teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of extra because we like the garlic sauce. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, we like garlic. A tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. A tablespoon of sugar. A uh, quarter cup of dried basil, or I mean, of fresh basil leaves. I don't have that, so I'm just adding some. Oh wait, that was pepper. Oh well, also salt and pepper. This is the basil. Yeah, it says a quarter cup of fresh basil leaves. So also not in the recipe, but I'm gonna add a little bit of carrot powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of spinach mix or spinach, sorry, dried spinach. Sweetie's dried spinach, wow. One day I will be able to talk correctly, I promise. But I'm telling you, put yourself on film and you're gonna be like stumbling your words too. <laughs> it's just so weird, I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna let this simmer on low for a while today. And then if I make meatballs, I'll add them. If I make ground beef, I'll add it. But that's going to be it right there. We are home from Walmart and this is what I got. I spent $96 on food. I actually spent 106, but I bought $10 goggles. It was a three pack of goggles for the kids. And we just left those in the car so we can take them to my father-in-law's. Um, so $96 for groceries and here we go. This is really just for the week. Um, yeah, that's it. I just grocery shop for the week this time. I'm trying to look and see, but I didn't get anything else besides what we need. So I got two gallons of milk, two half gallons of lactose-free milk, 
I finally got myself some creamer. So the last time I did like a big grocery order, I got sweetened condensed milk cans but yeah. to make my own creamer. But life has been crazy. And so I've just been drinking my husband's French vanilla. Um, and oh. I finally got myself some. This is my favorite creamer. But I'm trying to move to healthier options. And I want to make myself homemade. But I just haven't done it yet. I just... I haven't. So I got this for myself. Eventually I'm going to make it because I actually did look up a recipe for honey, cinnamon, and vanilla. And that's what I want to make. Um, and one day I will. One day I'll get there. So I had to get my husband some more French vanilla. That is the actual reason I had to go to the store today because I was using all his French vanilla creamer. So I needed to make sure he had some. <laughs> so I went and got it today. Um, I got some Rocky Road ice cream just because, oh my gosh, it sounded delicious. I got some chips and salsa for to go with our meal tomorrow we're gonna have like tacos yeah, or yeah. something um so we're just gonna have that with it i got a watermelon some strawberries some blueberries i actually ordered two of the bigger blueberries they substituted for three small ones which whatever fine um i got a bunch of bananas because the kiddos will eat them all these won't even last a week i'm sure and then yeah i know you probably want one already i got a caesar salad to go with our dinner tonight we're gonna have spaghetti oh you already know that because i made the um, sauce. I got some grape tomatoes and then this was in a bag all by itself and it's a sample. They just gave it to us for free. So yeah, that was nice. I got, it. got a couple extra ones and then some avocado. Oh, sorry, Layla. Some lettuce. And then one of our meals this week is Thursday. I have leftovers or jambalaya. So I got two of these beef kielbasas and the shrimp to make for that night. We are out of sausage. So I just grabbed one roll of sausage some cherry yogurt. Do you want some? You yeah. want some blueberries? Okay, hang on. Some more sour cream and some sliced cheese. And that's all I got for us this week because we have everything else that we're going to need. So I'm going to throw some chicken nuggets in the air fryer today to get some lunch going because everybody's pretty hungry. I didn't really make a breakfast. We just kind of snacked and ate on what we had. So I didn't even eat. I haven't eaten anything and it's 1130. Um, Ashlyn says she doesn't want any chicken nuggets, but I know she's going to eat some because I just know that she will. So she told her me not to make her any, but I'm trying to make enough that she has some because I just know she's going to get to the point where she's like, all right, I want some chicken nuggets now. So I don't even know if there's, oh, there are air fryer instructions, 360 for eight to nine minutes. Okay. Well, I'll just put it on 400 for 10. So that's probably too much. There we go. So while those cooked, I came out here and hung up the sheets and pillowcases and all that. So we have a ton of them over here on this rack, but then some of them hung up. Okay, so eat at home lunch five is chicken nuggets, cucumbers, and blueberries. So we invited my father-in-law over for dinner last night and he came over and they had had some German chocolate cake that they just couldn't finish eating. They had, had it for a couple days and then they were like, yeah, it's, we just can't keep eating on this. So they brought over some German chocolate cake. It was maybe about half of it left. The kids had some last night. Gary won't eat it because he doesn't like coconut. I ate it, but I don't like, I love the flavor of coconut. I don't like the texture of coconut flakes. I can't do it. So the taste is great, but I can't eat it because of the texture. Um, but oh my gosh, I wish I could. I wish the coconut was different because I love the taste. I just can't do those flakes in my mouth. It's so weird to me, uh, but the kids loved it. And I was really surprised because of the texture thing that Wilder ate it. Honestly, he's really weird about textures too. And I was like, he asked if he could have some, <clears throat> and I told Gary, I was like, I don't think he's gonna eat it. But he did and he loved it. And I was like, all right, cool, that's great. Um, but I wanna share with you guys a company. So my friend had reached out to me and well, actually I had reached out to her and I was like, hey, what spelling do you use? Because the language arts that we use now has spelling kind of incorporated, but it's not a spelling curriculum. And I have one child that kind of just struggles a little bit with spelling. So I wanted to just focus a lot on spelling. And so I was asking my friend who's homeschooled for a long time. I was like, hey, what do you use for spelling? And she told me, and then I ordered it and it came and that's what we've been using and I love it. And then I have been sharing clips of it, just using, I share clips of our day on Instagram a lot. And the company saw me tagging them and showing like sharing. And so they contacted me and asked me if they could send over some curriculum and I could share it with you guys and also on Instagram. So you'll see it in both places, but I want to share this company because I absolutely love it. I love everything behind it. I loved it and I was sharing it even before they reached out to me. So that tells you I'm not just sharing this to share it because they asked me to. 
I was sharing it before they even asked me to because I love it. Let me get the stuff and I'll tell you. The company is called A Reason For and it is a biblical scripture based company and I love it. That is why I was so excited to try it. That is why I was so excited to get on board with the company when they even asked me because I was like, absolutely. I love everything you guys stand for. I just love the fact their their scriptures and every page. Well, I don't know exactly every page, but I think almost every page we've done at least. I can't say every page for sure because I've looked through every single page and every single book. Um, but everything there is scripture, there's memory verses, there's all kinds of things, and it is definitely just very amazing in the way that it comes across that they get the point of like through about Jesus, about God. And I absolutely love it. So I want to share a little unboxing video with you. Before I do the unboxing part, I want to show you what I had purchased before and was sharing before. So this is what I got. I got a reason for spelling. They have spelling, they have reading, they have handwriting, and they have science. So this is the teacher guidebook and it comes, you know, with scripture values and fun activities. So this is what we've been working through already. And I got this, this is the teacher one, and I got one for Everly and for Wilder. So this is what we are currently working through. So this is what I had purchased, but let me show you what they sent. So that was spelling A. They do have placement tests so you can find out where your child lies and what to grab. So this is the next level for Everly because I did the placement test for Everly and she was kind of between A and B, but I wanted to start with A so she had a good foundation before we even moved into B. So um, this, they sent the next level for her, which is awesome. I'm very excited to work on this. They love it. What my favorite thing is actually is, let me show you. Let me show you in the current one that we're using because I know where to find it in the teacher one. Oops. So there are different games options that you can do depending on your child's learning style. So they have a visual one. They have just a general, they have visual, auditory, and tactical. So depending on how your child learns best, there are ways to practice the spelling words. So I just love that. So a couple times we'll go through our lesson and then I will either, I will pick one myself or I'll give the kids an option. Like I'll pull a couple of them out and say, hey, which one do you guys want to do? Do you want to write it with chalk? Do you want to write it with whatever? Do you want to write it in sand? Um, do you want to write it in rainbow colors? There's all kinds of really great ways that they try to incorporate spelling ideas for different learners. And that is another one of my favorite things. So um, that's what I really loved. And that's what I wanted to share with you. This is the next level for Everly. And then they also sent the teacher guidebook to go along with it because that's where it gives you all the fun games and activities and the answers and all of that, the tests, things like that. And um, in it, there are um, little stories at the beginning of each week that you guys can go through. And then there's also scripture that you memorize too. So hang on, let me find it. I should have kept out. So take a minute to memorize John 1, 3. You read the memory verse repeat it twice, things like that. So that's great. They also sent these desk handwriting cards that you can either tape or laminate or whatever onto your learner's desk or wherever you sit. So there's manuscript and then there's also cursive, which is really cool. So I'm gonna put these somewhere like this so we can have both sides visualized. And here's another one. They actually sent three of them. And then there's wall sheets. So there's manuscript and cursive for handwriting here. I have not opened these yet, but I will, and I will share it with you. They send border sheets for cursive, border sheets for handwriting. I mean, for manuscript handwriting. <laughs> then they also sent handwriting books, which I'm very excited about because we actually need new handwriting books. So they sent, let me see all different levels. They sent the teacher guide, the teacher guidebook for all the levels. It covers all eight workbook, work text levels for handwriting. So I have this here. And then they sent three different levels. They actually, what was so cute is sent one for Layla for her to be able to sit and do school with her big sister and brother because she loves to sit there and pretend to do school. So this one they sent for Layla. 
They sent this one for Wilder, level A. And so there's just letters, there's names, and then there's also scripture in it that they can teach or write, I mean, sorry. So right here, you can just trace that and practice it and memorize it. So I love that. So this is level A. And then they sent level T for Everly because she's a little bit farther ahead. And level T also includes um, manuscript, cur I mean cursive instead of just manuscript. It includes both manuscript and cursive. So hers is also the same, just words, scripture, and then you get towards the back and that's when it starts incorporating cursive, which is awesome because she has wanted to start learning cursive. So this is perfect for her and it gets to the back and then they start the scripture and cursive as well. And then they also sent this, which is gonna take me a second to get out because it's really heavy. A guided reading book, well, books. So guided reading curriculum. It's a complete reading pack and it is based on 64 scripture storybooks for beginning readers. And this helps them learn how to read and it is amazing, it's biblical based and I am obsessed. I haven't even opened it and I'm obsessed with it. I absolutely love it. Look at all those books in there. And it comes with the teacher's manual and everything. So I will have the link to a reason for down below. And I also have a discount code for you guys. If you use the discount code Tiffany 20, you'll get 20% off your order. And I'm telling you, I absolutely loved it before they even asked me to work with them. So I definitely, definitely approve. I think it's wonderful. I love the reasoning behind it. And I mean, I love that it's called a reason for, because I just really, really enjoy this. And I cannot wait to get started on this reading with them. So here's the reading set. So this is the parent guidebook and they have reproducibles that you can print or copy for each book, which is pretty cool. And then they have these little study guide things for each book as well. It tells you all the different things that you're gonna need to know. And here is also the page that you can do. So you can either use this or print or copy or whatever for each book. And there's one for every single book right there. And then it comes with 95 books, which is awesome. <laughs> My kids are about to start this today. Look at this, 95 books to help them read. And it comes with the teacher's reading book and everything. I mean, I am just, I'm thrilled that they sent this to us because we are deep in the throes of learning to read. And this is gonna be absolutely perfect. Okay, now we're gonna get into our unit lessons. And today we are working on history. We're actually almost done. I don't know how many lessons we have left. I think we are on lesson, look, our little book's falling apart here. 12. No, lesson 15, I think, maybe 16. 12. We're on lesson 15 and there's only 20, so we only have five left. Mom, is it today? Today? Yeah, hang on just a second. Thank you. So today the lesson is the first thing skip. Boy sent a card to his mother. So I've decided to not make meatballs. I'm just gonna cook up the ground beef. It's only 2.30, but I have time, so I'm gonna cook it up and then I'll just scoop it into the sauce. That way at dinner time, really all I have left to do is cook up the noodles. garlic bread on the menu for tonight and I never made anything and it's kind of too late to start anything at this point so I'm gonna make a quick bread I'm gonna make this cheesy cheddar garlic or cheesy cheddar quick bread and I'm gonna make it garlicky hopefully I'm gonna add some extra garlic so I have two tablespoons of butter in here a cup of milk and one egg for this part Okay, I thought I was recording, but I'm not. So two cups of flour, preheat the oven to 350. We're gonna do four teaspoons of baking powder, but I have a little half teaspoon here, so I gotta do eight. Okay. Three, four, hang on baby. Here. Five. Five. Six. Two, seven. Eight. Good job, Layla. Now. Now. A half teaspoon of salt. Two. 
It says a half tea, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, but I'm gonna add extra because I want it to be like garlicky. I don't know how much I just added. <laughs> Make it. And a tablespoon of sugar. And then one and a half cups. Well, hang on, let's mix this first. No, make it. I make it. You wanna mix it? Yeah. Here. You help mama mix it? Alright, let's add some cheese. Can you help me add the cheese? Yeah. One and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Ready? Yeah. Can you help me shake the bag? Yeah. Just a second. And then we're going to bake 45 to 50 minutes. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Just in time. Just in, time. Just in time. Just in time. You did good. All right, 350, 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, I just pulled this out of the oven. Layla said, good job. So it smells absolutely incredible. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. It was getting close to dinner time, so I just put some water on to start boiling. And I'm just going to throw together the Caesar salad kit that I got today, which is always exciting. I feel like I never get it the same day that I make it. And so this is going to be like the freshest freshest one. <laughs> kind of excited about that. And Caesar salad is my favorite. I love Caesar salad. I love it. Do you like Caesar salad or like regular salad better? Let me know. Caesar salad is my jam. Also look, I just cut up in this bread. Look how delicious that looks. I am really excited to try this. I hope it's good. Hope. I know I've made it before, just like the cheesy bread and that's good, but I'm just hoping I didn't ruin it with the um, garlic. So um, I just tried this and it's nowhere near as garlicky as I would he even think after adding all that garlic. Like you still can't even really taste garlic much at all, but it's still delicious. All right guys, dinner is ready right there. Feeding so time, and now we're getting some eggs. Yeah, she was just laying on them. They're so warm. Wild man's riding his dirt bike. So this is why I wanted to make extra, and I wanted to put them in quart jars, but the um, electric canner that I use, the pint jars work best in it. So I just put them in three pint jars and I actually have this little bit left. So I'm just gonna put this one in the fridge. Well, these are gonna go in the fridge till tomorrow. So I'll can those tomorrow. We have a little bit of noodles left and I picked some spinach and here's our eggs for the day. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for today. We have a busy, we, we have had a busy night doing lots of things, gardening, feeding animals riding dirt bikes, all the fun things. Um, so I'm gonna can that stuff tomorrow and I don't know what I'm gonna make. I don't know, but I'll see you then or I'll see you in a couple days. If this goes up on Friday, I'll see you Monday, who knows. Um, and thank you to A Reason For for mailing me all that stuff. Make sure you guys check it out in the link below and use the code Tiffany20 to get 20% off. You will not regret it. It's amazing, it's wonderful, it's excellent curriculum. So thank you guys and I'll see you then, bye.